FL Studio is one of those DAWs that's notoriously known for being bad at recording. If you take a glimpse into the audio engineering industry, you're going to see that most people either use Logic or Pro Tools. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can turn FL Studio into one of the most powerful DAWs for recording vocals. Now, a lot of the times you're going to see underground artists using FL Studio because it really is one of the easiest DAWs to use for recording vocals, but it's much more powerful and there's a lot of things you can do to make it so much better for recording vocals. We're going to dive into the best practices and methods that I've used and that I know make recording so much easier and so much more smooth. I'm not really going to go step by step, but I'm just going to show you guys my process. So enough talking. Let's jump in the video. All right. All right. So as you can see, See, I got a blank template of FL Studio pulled up here. I've changed absolutely nothing. I do have a soft clipper on the master, but that's the only thing. So first thing we got to do is find a beat. And what I like to do is just go to YouTube and type in some kind of beat. I'm just going to do a yeet type beat because that makes recording easier for me. And just type in yeet type beat. Now let's just run through some of these beats, see if I can find something cool. All right, so I like this one right here. So what I'm gonna do is just download this and bring it to FL. There's a bunch of different ways to do this, but if you do release a song, make sure you pay your producers. All right, so once you have your beat downloaded, this is a very important step. You're gonna go to wherever you have that downloaded. Mine's in my download folder up here on my screen above, but you're gonna drag it in and you're gonna drag it over this track header right here where it says track one. It's gonna bring up this menu and you're gonna click audio tracks. Now what this does is it's gonna route this playlist track over to playlist number two. Let's bring that over to number one. You could hold alt and the left arrow on your keyboard. Then we click F2. We're gonna rename this beat. Let's make it red. And as you can see, this is linked with this right here. It says beat. So just makes it very organized and you understand exactly where everything is being routed. So step two, we gotta find the key and BPM of the song. It's 150 C minor. So that's an easy way to find it because this producer actually included it. So what I'm gonna do is just bring this up to 150. And then this beat kind of has like a ramp up in speed. So we know it starts right here. So I'm just going to drag this over to over here and let's go like that. And then we should be on time right here. All right, there we go. So now we're on time. So the next part would be getting your preset ready. So if you use presets like me, you're just going to do a simple drag and drop. So what I'm going to do is open up the mixer and I'm just going to go to where I have my presets installed. My favorite preset has been my Yeet 2093 one that I've been using this on like everything. And this is where I have installed. So I'm just going to grab all of these and just drag and drop into the, uh, into the mixer. And we're going to wait for this to load. And then the way my presets are made, there is a delay, a yeet voice, and a verb bus. And basically, you have to attach the main vocal to these. So the way you do that is you actually shift click on this button down here. So I'm going to hold shift, click it, and then do it for this yeet voice as well and the reverb. And then you control the amount of delay, reverb, and yeet voice by sliding this knob up or down. And then we also have to do it for the ad lib. So shift click these three. Boom, and then I'm gonna right click the delay and add a separator. Now we just see the separation from the actual vocal tracks to the delay. And first thing you gotta do is hop into Auto-Tune, set the scale to C minor, cause that's what the song is. And now this should be pretty much plug and play. I should be able to do anything I want. I do wanna adjust this preset a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is replace this flangus with a chorus. So I'm gonna go over to the fruity chorus. I might even bring it up a bit. And I know I want some delay. A little bit of that yeet voice and a little bit of verb and then we should be pretty much ready to record but before we do that one of the methods i like to use is, is attaching my preset over to one of these mixer tracks so the way you do that is just right click your preset and you could either click assign to new audio tracks or just click a on your keyboard and as soon as you do that you can see it's now linked into your playlist and this makes it super easy because you just have all your controls right here you never have to go back into the mixer and basically any MP3 file or recording you put into this mixer track will automatically be routed to this mixer. So it just makes everything super easy. And as soon as you want to start recording, you just set your input, which mine is input one. We'll do that later. And then make sure your monitor external input is on when armed. This will make sure that you can only hear yourself through the preset when you're armed. And to arm the track, you would just click this button. And then also make sure you right click your recording button and just copy these settings. That makes it so you can record how I'm about to. So as soon as I click arm, you're going to be able to hear my voice through the preset. Yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah. And 
then to record, all you're gonna do is just click R on your keyboard and it'll start recording right away as long as you copy those settings. So let's see if we could just record something down real quick. No, it's not like this, not like that, not like this. No, it's not like this, but it's not like that, but it's not like this. No, it's not like this, but it's not like that, and it's not like this. No, it's not like this, but it's not like that, and it's not like this. Yeah. Alright, there we go. So I like that. Kind of just some random stuff. We could obviously fix that later. But for example, say you wanted to punch in over here. All you would have to do is just go to where you want to punch in and just start again. So you could just click R. My double cup, now I'm too fucked the fuck, the fuck. Yeah. When she see the money, she said I could fuck Crazy how these bitches really act when I be in the club I be in the club The way I die this range, you would think that I'm insane I might blow my brain tonight if I see her with that one guy That bitch is my crypt and I can't stop myself from acting right Take it off right now, little bitch, I need to get that shit for real all right, so that's my recording process for that part. So now I'm going to show you guys the ad libs. And really, all I would do is just right click the ad lib track, click A. Um, we're going to add some delay here, some of the yeet boys, and some verb. And then I'm also going to switch out this core or the flangus for a chorus. And then we're pretty much set. Um, I'm just going to switch over to the ad lib. All right, so this is what the ad lib sounds like with none of the effects. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take out some of the line. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna kind of like freestyle some shit. No, it's not like this, and not like that, and not like this. Oh, we gotta make sure we set this to C minor. No, it's not like this, and not like that, and not like this. No, it's not like this, but it's not like that, but it's not like this. No, it's not like this, and not like that, and not like this. No, it's not like this, and not like that, and not like this. No, it's not like this, but it's not like that, but it's not like this. No, like this. No, it's. All right, there we go. So that is the process for the ad libs as well. So now we're just going to listen to this and see if we need to do any beat cuts. I don't think I really want to, so I'm just going to leave it. We might do like a little intro piece, but 
as far as that goes, that's really all I would do. If I wanted to make this louder, I might just add like, I would actually just get this T-Rex soft clipper, but I don't really think this needs to get any louder and I could just bring up the gain. But uh, let's just listen from the start, see what we got. No, it's not like this, it's not like that, it's not like this. No, it's not like this, but it's not like that, but it's not like this. No, it's not like this, but it's not like that, and it's not like this. No, it's not like this, but it's not like that, and it's not like this. Yeah, yeah. So you switching sides, damn the chopper slit your wrist. I can't fuck with y'all, cause all you pussies look like bitches. Yeah, I heard you got some smoke, my chopper about to eat you up. I just pay your bitches rent for what I spend on buy my lunch. Yeah, none of you bitches get like me on my I put a deuce inside my double cup, now I'm too fucked up. When she see the money, she said I could fuck Crazy how these bitches really act when I be in the club The way I drive this range, you would think that I'm insane I might blow my brain tonight if I see her with that one guy That bitch is my crib and I can't stop myself from acting right Take it off right now, little bitch, I need to get that shit for real Alright, so that's the whole song right there. I hope you guys learned something from this video That is like my recording process in FL Studio And I definitely recommend using this way because in my opinion, it's quicker. It's easier to like master when you're done. Everything's pre-routed. You know exactly where everything is. And especially if you use presets, it's very just drag and drop. It makes everything super simple. But if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you hit that sub button. And if you're new here and you don't know, I always end my videos with a freestyle. So, uh, so I'm going to let you guys listen to it one more time. And we're just going to hit the record button and freestyle. Bitch.